when I finally decided to pull a ripcord, I could see the leaves on the tree almost, and I could see a couple of people out there in the field. My plane crashed right up against that building over there. I landed in a grain field right up here. I heard them coming, and they were shooting through the trees. So the only thing I did was dive under a bush and pull the bush down over me. You had to trust whoever held their hand out to you. You, you didn't know the good from the bad. Going down the street, and the driver was quite uh, uh, noticeable the way he was driving and so forth, and we in the back seat were wondering, hey, he's not trying to hide from anyone. It, it kind of concerned us. The man in the passenger seat turned around with a pistol in his hand. Once you fall into the hands of the Gestapo or the SS, it's game over. They just play by their own rules. Flieger means flyer, and terrorist means you're a terrorist dropped in like a spy or something like that. So as we enter this place that they were screaming and pointing to, we could see like barbed wire, we could see a guard tower, but the thing that frightened us the most was this tall chimney with smoke belching out of it. We walked right by the crematory and a German guard said, uh, the only way you leave this place is smoke coming out of that building. The only way you got out of book wall was through the chimney. The longer we stayed there, that's just what we figured. We decided to get kind of organized because we were in the military and we would decide on who was the senior officer and who would be in command and we would follow orders and we would act like a military unit. Within a couple of days, I'd established that I was a senior officer. I was giving the orders what was wanted. If we went from one place to another, we would kind of march in unison like we were still in the military. That upset the guards tremendously. <laughs> in Buchenwald, we were supposed to work. We are and we don't work. They gave the order and they all trained their guns on me. said, are you going to work or not? And we got there and there was a machine gun set up. The, the orders were given that not to leave Book Hall, not to go to any other camp. That seemed to be a pretty strong conviction that we were sent to Book Hall to be executed. We were sent to Book Hall never to be released. We realized, how the heck are we ever going to get out of here? We never will. 